Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Mob Impressions. I recently played a game called Morbid the Seven Acolytes. This is an action-adventure Souls-like that is available on Switch, PlayStation, Xbox, and Steam, which is the version I played. It was released on December 3rd, 2020. It goes for $24.99 US. Is it worth playing? Let's talk about it. I want to thank the devs still running and the publishers Merge Games for providing me with a review copy. However, all thoughts will be my own. Morbid the Seven Acolytes is a top-down perspective Souls-like game. It takes inspiration from Lovecraftian horrors and Konergian gore. It's very atmospheric, the graphics are dark but easy on the eyes. Though it's tagged as a Souls-like, the loot system and character progression is pretty different and it's one of the best parts about the game. All footage you're seeing today is taken straight from my Morbid the Seven Acolytes playthrough that you can watch on my Let's Play YouTube channel. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I love making these videos and reading all of your comments. I'll be going over a bit of the story, gameplay elements, and other noteworthy things I feel needs to be mentioned for Morbid the Seven Acolytes. Make sure to stay until the end of the video. I'll be showing you a boss fight with one of the major enemies in the game. The story starts off scarce and throws you right into the action. You start off waking up on a beach and there's monsters in every direction you face. You loot a bunch of your friends' bodies and fight your way across to safety. There are NPCs scattered throughout the world that provides hints and small amounts of lore, but to truly learn about why these monsters exist and why your character is fighting them, you need to find lore books and read them in small excerpts on your own. To summarize, you are a striver. You have been trained since birth to fight against the evil that has taken over this world. These monsters are called Gahars, and they manifest from the dark sanity that resides in individuals. They've taken physical form over time, and even persuaded the strongest humans to vessel their power, and they're the ones known as the Seven Acolytes, which are the main bosses in the game that you're hunting. The atmosphere and pacing most definitely feels like a Souls game. You'll be conquering many different large levels, and it's all connected in an open world format to explore. Your character has many different actions to perform. There's fast attacks, strong attacks, rolling, sneaking, firing your second weapon, and using consumables. Items can be found by looting them off the ground, destroying the environment like crates, and defeating enemies and bosses. I mentioned that the loot system and character progression is a bit different than Souls games, so let's talk about that next. To level up, you simply beat down enemies until you hit a level threshold. After that, you'll have banked a skill point which you can use to improve perks that you collect while exploring. You don't start off with any skills, instead you find them and can only equip a couple at a time. For example, you can have one perk that increases your health and another that speeds up your stamina regen. Weapons, consumables, and upgrade runes are plentiful, drop constantly, and are found all over the world. Each weapon has their own speed stat, as well as damage and movesets depending on the weapon type. Upgrade runes can be inserted on any primary or secondary weapon you find. You can mix and match the perks, elements, and they can be removed at any time using a special consumable you find. There are NPCs scattered all around in these areas, and while some are just flavor text heavy, there's quite a bit of quests that can be accepted and reward you with various goods like weapons and runes. The graphics are what really drew me into Morbid the Seven Acolytes at first. It's charming, fun to look at, and reminds me of the Super Nintendo 16-bit era. Enemy designs are gross and bosses are gorgeously morbid. The sound design is surprisingly good. It has that sort of soundtrack that you can hear during Dark Souls games. You know that sort of chorusy like epicness that induces stress and ramps up when needed. I definitely recommend Morbid the Seven Acolytes. There's a lot of content here and though there are a few bugs I've encountered like demon walls reappearing and exploding after getting rid of them, there's nothing that's game breaking I've come across and the small things can be ironed out in patches. Check this one out, it's pretty good. Remember, all the footage you saw today was streaking straight from my Let's Play channel where you can watch all the Morbid the Seven Acolytes gameplay I've uploaded. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. Thanks, and I'll see you guys next time. Enjoy the rest of the video. And why? Why would you, huh? I go! Is there anything special down there? Damn, look at that, more loot over there. Oh! Cool. He looks like the boat guy we killed. Am I supposed to run or fight? You shall not... Lord of the Blind? Loneliness? He's lonely. He is so lonely.
Come on, man. It's all about spacing, boys. All about spacing. Ah. Ah. Oh, my stamina. Hold on, hold on. Let's find the light. Got him. Woo! I like how there's a lot of other bosses in between on the large seven acolytes. That's pretty cool. It makes me think the game's gonna be a lot more longer than I originally thought it was. That's a good thing. It seems like pretty simple tactics will work here, though. But I mean, what else can you do, right? Ow! I'm gonna die. Eel. Oh, is he stuck? Yo, word? Ask me if I feel bad. <laughs> Alright, just so we don't accidentally die, right? Use the cure health and stamina, stamina. Use. Was it X? That's a drop button. Man, freaking controls. X. 30 seconds. I should have used this earlier, the one that increases my attack speed. This is just so we don't die. Are you serious, dude? Come on, man. Lord of the blind, the Lord of loneliness has fallen. Oh, sweet clarity. You come back to me now as my life is fading. Do your duty, Striber. Finish me. Claim my flesh. I've suffered enough. Maybe there's a thing if you don't kill them all. That was an acolyte? Hmm. Oh. I was just saying, oh, that's, uh, that's one of the uh, mini bosses between. It's uh, way more speed. Let's see what the moveset looks like. That's pretty fast. It's pretty fast, too. Holds up to uh, three slots. Well, this one holds up to four. Why would you use this? Unless there's a new thing on it. Mm. Okay. I mean, my weapon's better. I level up now. 